And the month of May will see discussions continue between South and North Korea following up on specific actions mentioned in the Panmunjom Declaration. The Unification Ministry in Seoul says there will be talks on setting up an inter-Korean liaison office where the two sides can work together more closely. There will be talks between the two sides' Red Cross organizations on a reunion for separated families, plus military talks on reducing tensions. Oh Jung-hee has this report. The two Koreas are expected to hold a flurry of talks over a wide range of subjects in May. That, as South and North Korea stipulated some specific action plans in the Panmunjom Declaration on Friday, which include opening up a joint liaison office, holding reunions of separated families, and holding general-level military talks. First up are the high-level talks to be held as soon as possible to discuss the specifics of opening a joint liaison office with Pyongyang in the North Korean city of Kaesang. South and North Korean officials will be working in the same building, which will enable quick face-to-face -face meetings. If high-level discussions go smoothly, the liaison office could even be opened by June, possibly leading to moves toward reopening the inter-Korean Kaesong industrial complex. Holding Red Cross talks with North Korea is another top priority, with the reunion of separated families scheduled to be held around August 15th. The authorities hope to hold Red Cross talks as soon as possible because preparing for the family reunions takes two or three months due to the application and identification processes. Marking the start of, quote, frequent meetings between military authorities will be the general-level military talks that will be held in May. They'll focus on creating a peace zone along parts of the inter-Korean land and maritime border to prevent accidental military clashes. Dialogues in the area of the economy and sports seem inevitable as well. Seoul and Pyongyang have agreed to link and modernize rail and road connections between the two and to jointly participate in international sports events. And the first such event will be the 2018 Asian Games coming up in August. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.